Here we have a 2015 Model S dual motor. I'm going to show you how to do a 12 volt replacement in this. So first you want to do is open the hood, pull off the side trims. And the one in the back. Okay. Next we're going to pull back the carpet. There's two bolts there. There's two here. What we're going to do is pull back the carpet. Plug the light and the button. Remove the two 8 millimeters. And then 213s. When pulling this front tub out, there's a harness connector right here. You need to remove this from the tub first before you take the tub away. And lift the tub up. So next we're going to remove the microfilter housing. Those clips. Lift that up. And the reason why we do this is because we need to get this fireman's loop. This loop down here. Pull out the housing. Now we can get to the loop. Just disconnect the loop. Next, we're going to go over the 12 volt. So, what we do is disconnect the negative. It's okay if the whole rod unscrews instead of just a nut. You can put that back in. Take the bracket off. There's your positive. Now I didn't take those adapters off. Reason being is I'm not putting the same style battery back in, I'm putting a different battery back in it. I'm putting this 12 volt battery we got from EV Tuning's website. It's called a full throttle battery. This is like a direct replacement battery. So it has two new brass posts on it, so we're not using the original adapters. So we don't need to put those back in. All right, to get the rod, the nut off this rod, grab a pair of vice grips. Just take it off. Next, gonna take it, thread it back in. There you go. Put this on first before you mount the battery in. So you have room to get at it. Okay. Right. We're 
take your battery in. And here's your negative terminal. Put that on it. Okay. And then reconnect your fireman's loop. That car should power up. While the car's powering up, you can put your hold downs back together. Little trick is to make sure that this is lined up so when you put this in, it actually goes in. Next, put your tub in, but before you put this down, re-snake this wiring harness back in. And then there's two pins right here, the uh, studs. You need to line those up. Don't just drop it on, but line them up. Okay. Start with your 13s first. You need to wiggle it around. And now the two eights. Get to plug your switches in. Make sure it works. Plug your light in. Okay. This is something I do. And I'll put the covers back on. You may have to work at these. Some of them, depending on their height, that are adjusted that are really tight, like that one. And some just pop right through.
And that's it.